Thank you for joining Stretch and Flow with Rashi. We hope you enjoy this class. Don't forget to subscribe. Hi everyone, it's Rashi from Stretch and Flow. Yes, I'm in my pyjamas with my fluffy socks. I thought I'd do a very quick five to 10 minute stretch of some of the stretches that I do sometimes before I get out of bed. You can do these once you're out of bed on your yoga mat. But if you just want a quick stretch, um, some breath before you get out of your bed, it's a great way just to start your day. And it can be done in bed, but be mindful if you've got a very soft mattress or even any mattress, it's not going to be as supportive for your spine as when you're on the ground. So just be aware of that as you do the stretches. The stretches are very gentle. They're just to start to waken up the muscles to start to waken up the mind so that you can start your day in a calm manner and carry that out through the rest of your day. So I've kind of made up as though I've got a blanket and a pillow. And these stretches can be done any time during the day. You can also actually do the slide in reverse if you want to do it um, before you go to bed so then you can just end up in bed and fall asleep. So let's start, it's very quick, um, very easy, but very effective. So we're gonna start lying down as though you are waking up, however you sleep. And just let's just imagine yourself waking up. And as you do so, even though you might have woken up, just keep the eyes shut. Take a moment to notice how the body feels. Just take a deep inhale in through the nose. A long exhale out through the mouth. The body's probably still quite relaxed. Inhaling in. A long exhale out. And we're gently just going to start awakening the body. Keep that breath flow going. Try not to let your mind get distracted with all that you've got to do during the day. Point the toes away from you. On the inhale, dig the heels in, point the toes up. Exhale to point the toes away. Inhale to point them up. And just take a rotation of the ankles one way as you do so. Just pointing the toes and then flick the rotation the other way. Even though the day is just starting, try not to get the mind to get busy. Focus on what's happening right now. And be aware of any parts of your body that might be feeling a little bit tender, might be a little bit stiff from your night's sleep. Just wiggle the fingertips, give them fingers a little wiggle. And then start to rotate the wrists one way and then the other way. It's so good just to stretch in the morning. The body can feel a little bit stiff, especially on these colder mornings. Then just allow the body just to soften on your mattress. Stick the right foot into the mattress so you're pushing out through the sole of that right foot, the heel is in the mattress, the toes are pointing up. And we're just gonna push the right leg, although you're pushing out through that right ball of the foot, so from the hip all the way down out through the sole of the foot, feel the stretch down that side. Take a breath in, let the breath go, and then bring that right arm to join it. So just taking a stretch of the whole of that right body, You'll be pushing out through the sole of the foot as you reach back with the fingertips. Take a deep inhale in through the nose. A big letting go sigh out the mouth. Relax that side of the body, bring the arm back down. Let's take the same on the other side. So digging the left heel down, pushing out from the sole of the left foot. So imagine that stretch from the left hip flexor all the way down. Try not to tense the rest of the body up. When you're ready, bringing that left arm back, stretching the left side of the body, 
reaching back with the left fingertips as you push through that left sole of the foot. A deep inhale, a big letting go sigh out. And then this time bring both hands behind you. You might want to interlace the fingertips behind you, point the toes. Take a big breath in as you reach the arms behind you. As you breathe out, just float them over to one side. So we're starting to get into the side body. Inhale, the arms reach back. As you exhale, over to the other side, just awakening everything up. Bring the arms back behind you. And then back down by your side. Gently bend the knees in. Give them a little squeeze. Starting to awaken the spine up. You might want to place the palms on the knees and make a rotation one way. And then the other way. It's such a beautiful, gentle way just to start your day, not to rush. Just treat your body gently and with compassion. Set your alarm for 10 to 15 minutes earlier so you can just start your day right. And once you start your day right, from my experience, everything then just falls into place. Taking one more breath here. And then just dropping the feet down and gently just rolling over to one side of the bed. Just taking a pause here, rolling onto the side, just allowing the breath to enter, allowing the breath to leave. Often we just shock our body once the alarm goes off. So much more nourishing just to start a little bit more gently. Take another inhale and exhale. And gently using that top arm to push yourself up. Just coming to sit on your mattress or your bed. If you feel that you need a little bit of support in your lower back, you can bring a pillow and pop it behind you for a little bit of support. Just allow the sit bones just to rock from side to side. Notice any tender spots in the hip flexors. Notice the breath in and the breath out. And then let the sit bones ground, lift up through the crown of the head. On the breath in, reach the arms out to the side, feel that first stretch. On the inhale, reaching the arms up like you're greeting your day. On the exhale, hands to your heart space as you empty the breath. Inhaling, the arms peel out to the side and then reach up, the gaze can follow. And as you exhale, hands to your heart space. Interlace the fingertips. On the breath in, the arms reach all the way up. On the breath out, stretch to one side. So floating the arms over to one side. Inhale, reaching up taller, stretching out that spine first thing in the morning. On the breath out, over to the other side. Let's do one more on each side. Breathing in, the arms reach up, the gaze can follow. As you breathe out, this time bend the elbows over the crown of the head so we're really getting to the side body. Inhale, the arms are reaching up. Exhale, over to the other side. Inhale, reach the arms up, sweep the fingertips. As you exhale, let's take a twist. Left hand in front, right hand behind. Lengthening first on the breath in. And as you breathe out, turn and twist over that right shoulder. Inhaling to lengthen, exhaling perhaps twisting a little bit more. Bring everything back round to centre, the arms reach up. You can have a gentle back bend here, just starting to awaken the muscles up. And as you exhale, the other side. Right hand in front, left hand behind. Lengthening first on the breath in. And as you breathe out, turning and gazing over the left shoulder. Keep the facial features soft. Inhaling to lengthen. Exhaling to twist. Everything comes back round to centre. Just let the arms float over the knees or the thighs. On the inhale, take a rotation of the shoulder blades one way. Just in time with your breath. On the inhale, the shoulders come up to the ears. On the exhale, you're taking a rotation. 
and then flip it the other way. So inhale, the shoulders still come up towards the ears on the exhale, you're just taking the rotation in the other direction. Just do a couple more like that, breathing in and breathing out. One more, inhaling in, exhaling out. Letting the shoulders just land down <clears throat> on top of the back. On the breath in, just lift up through the crown of the head. On the breath out, drop the head over to the right. Bring the right arm down on that left ear and just gently give it a push over to the right. Feel the stretch down the side of the neck. Be careful if you're feeling a little bit tender on this side. Taking a breath in, you can apply as much pressure as you like, letting the breath go. And then gently using the right fingertips to put, push the head back to neutral. Take a breath in, lengthen through the crown of the head. As you breathe out, tipping the head over to the left. And this time the left palm comes on top of the right ear. You're gently just applying pressure, feeling the stretch down the right side. A subtle inhale to lengthen as you exhale, just taking that stretch. One more breath. Everything comes all the way back to centre using the left fingertips just to push the head back to neutral. Interlacing the fingertips at the base of the belly, elbows nice and wide. On the breath in, hands to your heart space. On the breath out, pushing the palms away as you drop the gaze. On the inhale, reaching up, taking that big, beautiful stretch. On the exhale, arms out to the side, interlacing the fingertips behind you. Taking a breath in, squeezing the shoulder blades, perhaps turning the gaze up. And on the breath out, reaching forward as you guide everything back in. Let's do one more round. Breathing in to your heart space. Breathing out, pushing the palms away as you gaze down. Inhaling to reach up and over. Exhaling, arms out to the side. Interlacing the fingertips behind you. Take a big breath in as you squeeze the shoulder blades, shine the heart out. And as you exhale, bringing everything all the way back to the heart space for Anjali Mudra. Take a breath in, let the breath go. And as you place one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly, sitting up nice and tall, grounding with the sit bones, widening through the collarbone. Shut the eyes down just for a moment as you take your next few rounds of breath. There's no need to rush. Just let the breath enter, let the breath leave. Once you take the next five to 10 rounds of breath, before you get out of your bed completely, or if you're doing this at a different time of the day, setting an intention. If it's at the beginning of the day, set an intention for the start of your day. Perhaps a quality of mind that you want to keep. Perhaps it's something you're working on. And just internalize it by just repeating it to yourself three to four times. Try and narrow that intention to two to three words. And then with each inhale, just absorb that intention. With each exhale, let go of anything that's not going to serve you today. Another breath in. Let the breath go. One more. Inhaling in. Exhaling out. If you've got more time, you can just sit here and do some breath work. Sitting in stillness. If it's time to get on with your day, let's bring our hands to our heart space. Remembering the intention that you set for your day. And as you step out of your bed, into your day, allow that intention just to simmer throughout your whole day. Don't let the challenges of life or people drag you away from that peace within your own mind and heart. Instead of drag, being dragged into the chaos of everyone else, Allow your peace to radiate and influence those around you. Have a great day. Namaste.
Thank you for joining us for Stretch and Flow with Rashi. We hope you've enjoyed the class. Please subscribe and make sure if you have any questions, please send an email, get in touch some way. Once again, thank you and have a great day.